Hello! I very much enjoy testing and reviewing new makeup products for you. However, as a result, my makeup drawers are overflowing and I'm feeling really overwhelmed. So it is time for a massive, brutal declutter, starting with my foundations and my skin tints. I will be giving away and donating products as much as possible. My cousin is affiliated with a women's halfway house and she has assured me that any products that I donate will be put to good use. I have featured most of these products in previous videos. If so, I will link that video in the description box below if you would like to see these products in action. I will also include timestamps, product links, discount codes, lots and lots of information in the show more description box below as usual. Anyway, we have a lot to get through. This might go a tad long, so grab yourself a beverage and let's do it. This is way too much foundation for me. No wonder I'm overwhelmed. Originally, it was scattered between these two bins, quite a mess. I moved everything over here because as we declutter, I'm gonna put the keepers on this side of this bin and the declutters on this side of this bin. Before we get into the actual declutter, I think it's important to tell you a little bit about my skin type and my foundation preferences. My 63 year old skin is really very dry. And as far as foundation, I really do prefer a light to medium coverage with some sort of radiance or luminosity. Matte foundations just tend to suck the life out of my skin, make my skin look older and drier. You know, I don't want anything too shiny, but I really do like to have a healthy glow. This first one is a heartbreaker. I absolutely adore Lisa Eldridge. And I was super excited when she launched her Seamless Skin Foundation about two years ago. At $61, this is one of the most expensive foundations I have ever purchased. It comes in this gorgeous bottle. Storage is a little bit difficult because you can't stand it up. You can lie it flat, but I prefer to keep it in its box. It does come in 40 shades and she does have sample cards. I did order two samples, the light card and the medium card. But ultimately, I had such a hard time deciding on a shade that I ordered two shades. I ordered shade 9 light medium neutral olive and shade 11 light medium neutral gold. I am going to show you these two shades. Here is the shade 9 light medium neutral olive and here is shade 11 light medium neutral gold. Now you can see what tiny little pumps those are and you can see it is you know slightly thin not too runny not too thick even though these pumps are tiny this is a super super pigmented foundation a little does go a long way it spreads really a long long way now lisa says this is a very flexible foundation in terms of coverage and finish depending on how you apply it but no matter how much moisturizer I use, it always winds up looking just a little bit too matte and flat on my dry skin. Many people absolutely love this foundation, so this is sort of an unpopular opinion. But having tried various application techniques for the past two years and just not enjoying it, I think it is finally time to admit defeat and let these go. So, Lisa Eldridge, is the first declutter. Next up, we have IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skincare. I have tried quite a few different IT Cosmetics foundations over the years, and this is definitely my favorite. A bit pricey at $46, but IT Cosmetics does have frequent sales. It comes in 38 shades. I have it in the shade 31 Medium Neutral for Summer, and 22 Light Neutral for winter. There is 31, there is 22. And this just has the prettiest, silkiest, lightest texture. It just glides over the skin, super, super silky. This is one of the few foundations I have actually used up and repurchased. It wears quite well on my dry skin. This is a keeper for sure. Another foundation I had a very, very difficult time finding a shade match is the Kosas Revealer Concealer Skin Improving Foundation SPF 25. This is $42 and it comes in 36 shades and it is meant for all skin types. It does not contain alcohol and the SPF is a mineral. 
It has lots of skin loving ingredients, but like I said, the shades are difficult. Originally, I actually purchased four shades. I returned two. And so I basically have to mix these two shades together. Although many people love this foundation and I do enjoy the medium coverage radiant finish. I don't reach for it very often because it's a little bit tricky to get the shades to mix right. I don't know if I'm gonna have a good makeup day or a bad makeup day. This is being decluttered. A foundation I purchased based on one of my viewers recommendations is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This is $38, it comes in 50 shades, does not contain alcohol, no SPF. Anyway, like I said, one of you recommended it. I picked it up at a huge discount at the Sephora sale and I love it. I have it in the shade 220N, which is a very nice shade match for me. There is the texture and it's just really pretty. On my hand, it looks a little bit warm, but it is a really nice, silky, radiant texture. It feels really nice and moisturizing on my skin. It wears well. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's not going anywhere. A foundation I know I am decluttering is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. This is $40 and it comes in 30 shades and it claims to have a long wearing natural finish with a flexible coverage. I wish I would have just brought home a sample instead of purchasing this because no matter how I applied this, I tried several different methods, I just didn't enjoy how it looked on my skin. It looked makeup-y, it made my skin look a little bit dry. I intended to return this, but time got away from me. It's still really new, so this is going to be donated. That Another easy declutter decision is the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. This one's $30 and it comes in 48 shades. It is alcohol free, fragrance free, no SPF. Again, the shades are confusing. I did go in store to find a shade and I wound up with 190W, which wasn't really perfect. I bought this for a full face of Rare Beauty video but it was my mistake for purchasing this because it is not intended for dry skin. It is designed for normal combo or oily skin. As I said in the video, the finish was just way too matte for my preference. Again, this is fairly new, very lightly used, so this is being donated. I really need to get into the habit of bringing home samples before I purchase. Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. This is Sephora's more affordable house brand. This is $20. It comes in 50 shades. It is fragrance free, does not contain any drying alcohol. It does not contain any SPF. I have it in two shades, which I do have to usually mix together. There is shade 22N and there is shade 21P. You can see it's a little bit of a thicker consistency, but it does blend nicely. And like I said, I do have to mix these two shades together. Now the claims on this foundation is a medium coverage, natural finish, long wearing foundation. This is just a solid, basic, everyday, easy, affordable foundation. Although I do recommend this, especially when you can get it for 30% off. I just don't use it as much as I used to, and I should probably declutter, but I do wanna save this in sort of my channel catalog, my channel library. I do recommend it, and I do wanna share it with you periodically, especially during the sale. So I am going to store this separately in my sort of channel catalog library area, and I am not going to keep it in my personal collection. The most expensive foundation I've ever purchased is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Super pricey at $69. Now this is a mini, still really expensive at $45. It comes in 40 shades. I am in the shade 3.5 Light Medium Olive. Not very many foundations come with olive undertones and this works really well on my skin. It has a silky, blendable texture. You know, I had previously used up a full size and I absolutely loved it. I really, I was thinking of not repurchasing it, but I found I missed it, so I purchased the mini. I'm very happy to have it again. This is just an elegant medium coverage that works beautifully on dry, mature skin. I will use this up. I'm not sure if I will repurchase because there's so many other 
more affordable, beautiful foundations, but I'm very happy to have it, and this is going nowhere. A foundation that I received in PR that I haven't formed an opinion on yet is the Merit Beauty The Minimalist Complexion Stick and Concealer. This is $38, it comes in 20 shades, fragrance-free, cruelty-free, claims our buildable, lightweight complexion stick for natural-looking coverage. They sent me the shade Bisque, which might be a little bit warm for my skin tone. I might have to try a different shade. However, I am reserving this for a full face of Merit Beauty. I love their blush, their bronzer, their highlighter. So stay tuned for that and I will give you my final opinion. So this has not earned a place in my permanent collection. So I'm going to put my library foundations back here. So those are for my channel catalog library for future videos. My newest foundation, and I haven't even tried it yet, is the Bourjois, I'm sure I am butchering that pronunciation, the Healthy Mix Foundation. So many people used to rave about this, including Lisa Eldridge. And I was always so curious about it, but it's really hard to find in the U.S. You can only order it online and the shades are confusing. So when I found it at a French pharmacy in Paris, and they in fact did have testers, I picked it up in the shade 54 Neutral Beige. Look at that consistency. It feels really, really, really silky, lightweight. It's supposed to have a light medium coverage, natural radiant finish. I am super excited to try this. I probably had no business buying a foundation considering how many I already have. But when in Paris, you buy the Bourjois the Healthy Mix French Pharmacy Foundation. Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. Pretty pricey at $48. It comes in 30 shades. I have it in the shade ST9 Paloma. You know, I reviewed this last spring when I did my skin tint roundup. Comes in a dropper bottle. It is very, very runny. I gave it a really poor review last spring because it just, it looks oily on the skin. It just, it stays really, really shiny and it feels sort of heavy. But I said I was going to save it and try it over the winter when my skin was extra dry. I just couldn't get this to work on my skin. It just, even in the deep of winter when my skin was extra dry, it felt shiny and heavy. Unpopular opinion, many people love it, but this is being decluttered. A newer foundation that I have absolutely fallen in love with is the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. A little pricey for the drugstore at $18. It is fragrance free, no alcohol, no SPF, nice hydrating skin loving ingredients. Although it comes in 28 shades, the shades are very confusing. There is no description anywhere. I did a video review of this, and in that video, I did not have a good shade. I had three shades, none of them worked. Luckily, I picked up 213 Light Natural, and it is a perfect match. There is the consistency. It just has a nice, silky consistency that blends effortlessly and beautifully. I just think this is super, super pretty on the skin. It feels lightweight, but gives a beautiful light to medium coverage with a natural radiant finish. It wears well, I love it. That is not going anywhere. Another drugstore favorite that is super, super affordable is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. Incredibly affordable in the five to seven dollar price range. It does come in 18 shades, but typically Target and Ulta don't carry all the shades. So it was a little challenging to find a shade. I did have to go through a couple of shade fails, and I finally found a shade that works beautifully, and that is Soft Beige. This has no alcohol, no SPF, but unfortunately it does contain fragrance, probably to cover up the infamous paint smell from the Wet n Wild matte version. Anyway, I love this foundation. I love the light to medium coverage. It can be built up to more of a full coverage. It just has a pretty natural luminous finish and it feels like absolutely nothing on the skin. This was one of my favorite foundations that I discovered in 2022 and that is definitely a keeper.
L'Oreal is really well known for their foundations and last September I did a L'Oreal foundation roundup video where I reviewed and ranked nine different L'Oreal foundations. Now I already decluttered the bottom four, but I still have five L'Oreal foundations and we are going to get that down to two. The first one to go makes me a little bit sad because the L'Oreal Pro Glow was my go-to foundation for years. It is super affordable at $12. It only comes in 12 shades. Luckily, 202 Creamy Natural works really well for me in the winter and 203 works well in the summer. It has a really nice medium coverage with a natural radiant finish. Comes in a squeezy tube, which I enjoy. And there is the consistency. It blends effortlessly. It's very silky. It just blends beautifully. Beautiful, medium coverage, natural, radiant finish. Really pretty on the skin. However, during the course of doing that video, I learned about denatured alcohol. And while denatured alcohol is a little bit controversial, I am just not comfortable using a foundation that has denatured alcohol number three on the ingredient list on my super dry skin. So for that reason and that reason alone, these are being decluttered. Interestingly enough, the L'Oreal Pro Glow is no longer available on the Target or the Ultra website, so I'm not sure if it's being discontinued. It's still available on the L'Oreal website, so we will see. L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation SPF 50 is a very, very popular foundation. It is in the 15-ish dollar price range. It does have 30 shades, although I never did find a perfect shade match. The shade 25 Cream Beige is just a tad too warm for my skin tone. And I usually had to mix it in with one of their other foundations, which I will talk about in a minute. But it is a very lightweight, very blendable texture and formula. It's very, very pretty on the skin. Light medium coverage, really pretty finish. What is not to love? You know, a couple of things make me not reach for this. One is the smell. It has a very heavy chemical sunscreen smell, which I really don't enjoy. And the other is it has denatured alcohol number five on the list. Between the shade and the smell, I just don't enjoy using this. I never reach for it, so it is being decluttered. L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Acid Serum Foundation is a very popular foundation for good reason. It is really, really pretty on the skin. Runs in about the $15 to $17 price point. Comes in 14 shades. I have it in the shade 3, 4, light medium. This feels really lightweight on the skin, yet it has a nice light coverage. It really does blend itself and looks like skin with a pretty soft radiance. One thing everybody hates is this messy dropper bottle. And here is the consistency. You can see it is fairly runny. This is the one that I mix in with the Age Perfect. It's just, this really does blend itself, disappears on the skin, and it really does look like skin. As you can see, I have gotten some pretty good use out of it, but I haven't reached for it in ages. And the reason is the denatured alcohol being number three on the ingredient list. You know, I'm just no longer willing to risk having denatured alcohol dry out my already dry skin between that and that terrible, messy dropper bottle, I don't enjoy it, I don't reach for it, that is being decluttered. A L'Oreal foundation that I am absolutely keeping is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. This is fragrance-free, alcohol-free, no SPF. This comes in 47 shades. I am in the shade N3 Light Medium Neutral, which is perfect for me. This literally glides onto the skin. It blends itself. It's the most natural looking foundation I own, yet it does have light to medium coverage with a beautiful satin skin-like finish. It feels absolutely weightless on the skin and it wears quite well on my dry skin and they finally added a pump after 20 years. It has a nice liquidy consistency and like I said, 
It literally blends itself, silky smooth. I absolutely love it. I've talked about it over and over again. It's a favorite and it is absolutely not going anywhere. A L'Oreal foundation that I'm still undecided on whether to keep or declutter is the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. It runs about $15. It only comes in eight shades and I do have to use the lightest shades, either 10 light clair or 20, depending on the time of year. And I'm never the lightest shade in a foundation. This is a very interesting skin tint. It is a balm. It has lots of emollients and even some antioxidants and peptides. It has really sheer to light coverage. Some people call it a medium coverage, but I feel it's sheer to light at best. This one sort of grew on me. At first when I tried it, I really didn't like it very much, but this is so easy to throw on the face for a light, easy, natural, out the door, fast look. However, I don't tend to reach for this that often because I have other skin tints I tend to prefer, so I'm not sure whether I should keep this or declutter. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and we will decide at the end. My only other cream foundation is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless Broad Spectrum SPF 28 Age Defying Cream Foundation. That's a mouthful. This is in the $15 price range. Again, it only has eight shades. I am in the shade 225 Buff Beige, which works pretty well on my skin. Like I said, it is a cream foundation. Usually it has that little white swirl in it, but the more you use it, the more the swirl disappears. It feels very balmy, but it has more coverage than the L'Oreal. It really does look nice on the skin. Light, medium coverage, radiant finish. I will link a video where I demonstrated the application of this. You know, I don't know why I don't reach for this. This is a nice foundation. There is nothing wrong with it, but I don't reach for it, so it is being decluttered. Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Foundation SPF 45. Pretty pricey at $50. It does come in 28 shades, and I am in the shade 2N1 Desert Beige. No drying alcohol, but it does have added fragrance. I stumbled across this last winter when I was looking for glowy foundations for my dry skin, and this was love at first sight. It literally glides over any dry patches that I may have. I love the squeezy tube with a pump. It's a nice, thin formula, beautiful shade match for me. It just feels so incredibly lightweight, blends like a dream, looks beautifully radiant, and it never accentuates texture or dry patches. Absolutely love this, and this is not going anywhere. Somewhat similar to the Estee Lauder is the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin. Again, pretty pricey at $49. It comes in 30 shades, and I am in the shade 4N. This was the very first foundation that I tried in 2022, and you can see I've gotten some really good use out of this. I do have a dedicated video review on this if you'd like to see it in action. This is a little bit glowier than the Estee Lauder. Some people find it a little bit too glowy. I tend to use this more in the winter when my skin is extra dry. It feels really hydrating on the skin. I do enjoy it very much. I will absolutely use this up, but I am not sure if I would repurchase this over the Estee Lauder. Again, they're very similar, but I think I personally prefer the Estee Lauder just a little bit more. It's just a little bit more lightweight with not such an intense glow. Now we're getting to the tinted moisturizers. Last spring, I did a tinted moisturizer roundup video and once again, I have already decluttered some of the fails. In that video, I ranked the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue number one. But as it turns out, my most used tinted moisturizer from that video turned out to be the Tarte Miracuja Tinted Hydrator. This runs $30, it has 20 shades, and I am in the shade 20N Light Neutral. This is almost empty and I already repurchased it during the Tarte sale. It's just an easy 
everyday skin tint that always looks natural. It blends seamlessly. It feels lightweight. I would say it has a light to light medium coverage. It has a really pretty soft radiance, not too glowy. Now Tarte recently came out with a glowy version of this, but this one is so perfect. I don't know if I would try the new one. Anyway, Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator is a favorite. Another favorite tinted moisturizer that I've talked about several times, I have also repurchased it a couple of times, is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. Incredibly affordable in the five to seven dollar price range. It only comes in seven shades. The shades are fairly flexible. Even so, I do have two shades. I have the shade Light Medium and I also have the shade Light Clear. This is just another super easy, very natural skin tint for a fast out the door look. It's a little bit thicker than you would expect, but again, it just blends effortlessly. It looks beautiful, light medium coverage, radiant finish, absolutely love it. This is not going anywhere. And I also love the small squeezy tube that is super travel friendly. Like I said, I do have it in two shades. The only other skin tint that I kept from last year's Roundup is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This runs about $15. I have it in the shade 8N Light Neutral. You know, I really haven't gotten much use out of this. And recently, as I was trying to prepare for this declutter, I tried this again and I had forgotten how pretty it is. It really has, there's the texture. It really has a beautiful, radiant finish, not overly shiny, but just really pretty and radiant, light medium coverage. You know, I had thought about decluttering this, but based on retrying it recently, I think I'm gonna hang on to this and see if I can get some more use out of it. ColourPop Pretty Fresh is a really pretty tinted moisturizer. So these foundations are the foundations that I am not keeping for my personal use, but I'm gonna hang on to for future videos or for reference or comparison. And I have this little box with a variety of products that I am currently testing for future videos. So these will go in this box for future videos. So let's take a look at what I think I am keeping. IT Cosmetics. ABH Luminous. Super excited to try the Bourjois The Healthy Mix. Love my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Love my Revlon Skin Caring Illuminance. You know how much I love my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable. So that's it for the bottles. We just have some tubes here. Estee Lauder Futurist. Oh my gosh, I really love this foundation. I can't believe I was so late to the game. It's been out forever and I finally tried it. I think I'm going to put this little glass here so these tubes can stand upright. Charlotte's Beautiful Skin. I will be using that up soon. ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. And of course, my Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrators. So let's take a look at the two maybes. I had said maybe I would keep the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm, but based on the fact that I already have three tinted hydrators that I know I love and reach for, I think I will declutter this. I just haven't reached for it enough to justify keeping it. Oh my gosh, I think I might hang on to the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action as I was applying it to my, I just thought it was so pretty. The color is so good. So I am also going to hang on to this for just a little bit longer. So what do we have here? It's a lot. It's a lot. I do realize that. Let me get these sort of organized here. A little bit organized. Anyway, that is what I'm keeping. Let's do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keeping thirteen. Decluttering. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I didn't quite meet my goal of decluttering 50%, but it's pretty close. Keeping 13, decluttering 11. Mission accomplished. It feels incredible to lighten my load and get rid of the products I don't absolutely love. And remember, I will be donating and rehoming as much as possible. And I love this edited inventory, only products I use and love on a regular basis. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I always appreciate your time. Have yourself a great day, and I hope to see you in my next video.